denial of staff to belong to unions. Uh, some of the allegations the NLC has leveled against the telecommunications company MTN. Picketing the company's office in Yenogua, the Bielsa chapter chairman of the NLC, John Ndiomo, says the office will remain closed until the company reverses its anti-labor policies. The labor unions chanted a familiar tune at the entrance of the MTN office in Yenagoa. Chairman of the Bayelsa chapter of the Nigeria Labor Congress, John Bipre Indiomu, gives reasons for the convergence on the premises of the telecommunications company. There is freedom of association in this country and they have been denied that right. And so nobody speaks for the workers, all the workers in MTN. In other words, they are treated like slaves in this country, and which is, not, which is against our constitution. And that is why we have come out to say MTN has to stop enslaving people in this country. And that is against our constitution, and it has to stop. That is why we are here. And we will continue to be here until MTN changes his mind about it. It's so sad. Nigeria fought for them for appetite, but they are now bringing the same appetite to our own people, telling us that they are wiser than us and casualizing our workers, making our people to suffer, giving them salaries for peanuts. We say no to that. NLC say no to that. Members of other labor unions describe the telecommunications company's policy as anti-labor. The law says you can only be a casual worker for two years. And now these people over the years have been working for MTN, they are all casual workers. And if we allow that, one, they will not get their due, which means they will not pay them the way they will pay their permanent staff. You know, so these are some of the things that we are trying to do. We believe that with this pressure, they will come down and sit with labor and allow their workers to unionize and put them as permanent staff in their offices. They are making a lot of millions in Nigeria. In South Africa, all their workers are permanent workers. But in Nigeria, they imported apartheid system so that our, our brothers will not be part of unionism and uh, enjoy what other workers are enjoying as permanent staff. And in totality, NLC is rejecting that. No staff of the company was present to speak on the matter. No talk to me, I've got no day. Nobody there office now. Make one just go. Nobody, no talk to me. Uviete George, TVC News, Yenagoa, by Yelsa State.